Work truck's getting some new steps because when they gave it to me, it didn't have any on it. So I was able to acquire some, but I got to put them on as a deal. So. So it's actually a rain day at work and these came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. Cause I'm impatient and I don't feel like waiting. Hopefully they're the right ones. They're the cheapest ones you can find, so not really expecting a whole lot of quality. But as long as I don't have to get a running start to get in this thing anymore, I really don't care. These actually ain't too bad. I thought they were gonna be cheaper looking. Oh, they, forgot. they got some weight to them, and they feel like aluminum. So maybe if they're aluminum, aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminium. Aluminum. Aluminum, they won't well, uh, they won't rust. Actually, I can't, that might be steel. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, they're cheap, and they're here. That's not blood, that's paint. As of right now, it's paint. Like I said, I'm six feet tall, and this truck didn't come from steps, right? Now my knee, there's my knee right there. My knee is below the rocker on the truck. Unreal, Ford, unreal. So it already comes like ready to bolt these on. Like it's pretty quick and simple. So why not put them on? Really fit. Get the plastic washers. All right. Looks appears to be all half inch hardware. So these plastic things seem to go like right there. And that should keep from metal on metal contact. Tolerance is a little tight. I remember when I put my amp research steps on for the first time on my last Dodge. It really wasn't that bad of a setup, but I didn't read the instructions all the way through, like most men. And I tightened too, some stuff down too fast. And when it came to adjusting the steps later on, it was an absolute nightmare. If you're watching this and you're putting amp steps on Dodge Ram, I highly recommend you read the instructions word for word and do what they say. Because one of those steps, it was the passenger one, it was the first one I did. I always I always start with the pad. Anytime I'm working on a vehicle, like with, when it comes to steps, I always start with the passenger one, mainly because that's the one that's going to be used less. I uh, I messed that one up on the passenger side, so every time the wife got in and out, it didn't close all the way or it squeaked or in the winter. It was mostly in the winter. The winter time stuff would get stuck in there, and then it would think something was in the way, and uh, it wouldn't go up all the way. And then you look like an idiot driving around with your amp, amp research step sticking out. You know, you got these expensive thousand dollar steps on a seventy thousand dollar truck, and they're just <clears throat> hanging off. So you don't want to be that guy. Oh. Well, son of a biscuit. I just want to get them snug. I don't want to tighten them. You know what? It's 2022. Milwaukee. Oh, it's on reverse. Fail. I 
wonder what that stood for. Oh well, I'm over it. Stay. Just over here throwing stuff. God dang it. Alright, so we got our mounts. So let's go ahead and throw a step on there. Look at that. Got the old nut certs in there. Or this one. One. There it goes. That's why you want to do it, Liz. Yeah, I mean. Go ahead and tighten everything up now. Right, that's one. I know those instructions probably have torque specs, but let's be honest, those are just suggestions. Go ahead and pull them all the way out so they're sticking out a little bit. Zip them down. Installed. Let's try it out. That's so much better. And the potato's a bit hot. So I only put a little bit on my fork and I blow till it's cool, just cool, then into the mouth. Nice. Stress test. About 185 pounds hanging on them. They work. Oh, that's so much nicer. Right on. Let's do the other side. Look at this BS. So, just like the other side, it should have three studs. What the heck, Ford? This thing's got a thousand miles on it. So, that ain't gonna work. Because this is the driver's side, so obviously I need to put something in there. And I can't get my hand back in there to put like a bolt. I do have rib nuts, so I might put a rib nut in there and then put a bolt. But the problem with the rib nut is I can't get my rib nut tool in there in order to get it crimped. So we're going to have to come up with something, but I think I have an idea. I got to drill that out. Brand new truck, got to drill a hole in it. I found a rib nut that I want to use. It's like the right size that I feel like it'll be strong enough. But the hole's not big enough. So we're going to drill that out and then I'll show you how I'm going to put the rib nut in there and getting the drill in here is going to be fun. So I don't have a right angle drill. I've, I've never found a reason to buy one until right now. But anyway, let's try this. And this parking brake cable is right in the way. Luckily, it's made of aluminum, so it's not hard to drill. Aluminum. But I don't want to go too big, because if you go too big, then the rib nut's not going to do its job. No, there's aluminum shavings everywhere. Look at that. Hopefully, I didn't go too big. All right, so I made this tool. So I made this tool. So this, I can get it out of there now. Basically this rib nut goes in here. So we're gonna put it in there all the way like that, right? And then this is like a giant washer with a spot to hold, hold it with a wrench. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the hole and we're gonna spin this, which is gonna tighten that up, which is gonna create the crimp in here. And then this will just hold with the wrench and that'll allow the bolt to keep spinning. So you couldn't just use a regular bolt or wouldn't let it spin right. So I made that hole just a smidge too big, but to lay down. Only thing I can do now is get a bigger rib nut. You guys see that all right? Of course I need the deep well. This is just gonna suck, this is part of it.
feel it getting tight. It's doing its job, it's working. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and loosen it up. In theory, should be able to take this bolt out and the rib nut stay in there. It's in there. It's tight. It's not rattling, so good job. We'll go ahead and put the mount on there now. No squeaks, no rattles. She's on there. All right, so that's it. Tools are away, steps are on. Um, I think these things only ran like 200 bucks, they said. So it's really not that bad. Um, install, I mean, it was like a two out of 10. Minus that stud being gone. Um, I doubt everybody's gonna have that issue. I think that was just a manufacturing issue. Quality control, quality control kind of deal. Somebody wouldn't do in their job. But anyways, uh, install, pretty simple. I think just about anybody could do it in their driveway, as you can see. So anyways, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more, that kind of stuff. Uh, appreciate all you guys. And uh, drop a comment down below. Um, this is a 2021 Ford F-250. So if you're looking for those steps, like I said, I'll put the link in the description below on what, what they got. So uh, anyways, until next time, see you later. <laughs>